Paper is a free product from Dropbox, which lets you and your team work together on the same doc. It's a tool that's easy to use and you can directly log in using your Dropbox account or even sign in using your Google account. In this video, I'll go over Dropbox Paper, its pros and cons, so you can decide whether or not it's right for you. Let's get into it. At first, Dropbox Paper might look like Google Docs, but once you start using it, you'll see different features like box notes, keyboard shortcuts, and other things like that. Let's look at some of the pros. Using Dropbox Paper is as easy as taking out a notebook and writing in it, or logging into your favorite word processor. This is one of the many reasons why we love using Dropbox for business. Most writers aren't tech experts, so having a tool or product that's simple and easy to use is the way to go. When you start using Paper, it literally says, type something, and helps you put your thoughts into words. Dropbox Paper is the perfect workspace for teams to come together and collaborate. With just a few clicks, you can invite someone from your team or include everyone to work on a project together. You can also assign tasks, get feedback, and even leave comments as if you're chatting with someone on a messaging app. When it comes to editing, Dropbox Paper is a lot like Microsoft Word, but what makes it better is its ability to share a paper doc with your coworkers. Dropbox Paper lets you easily share files without having to waste time sending documents around by email. It doesn't matter which part of the world you live in or what device you use, Dropbox Paper lets you share files without any restrictions. Just go to their website, log in, and you're all set. While mobile users can't share files as easily as everyone else, you can find different text formatting apps on the Apple or Android App Store. You can then log back into the tool to use your files and go over your tasks. Usually with tools that have sharing templates, you expect to find pre-designed templates for users. Dropbox Paper doesn't offer any, which is kind of a bummer. On the bright side, it lets you create your own writing templates and saves them in folders for future reference. A timeline is definitely one of the best features of Dropbox Paper. It helps you and your group to stay on track, check your progress for any projects your team might be working on, and set deadlines for important tasks. However, timelines don't show up in a user's to-do list. The other downside is that only PC users can edit a timeline, while mobile users can only take a look at it to see what needs to be done. Now, as promised, Let's look at where Dropbox Paper is lagging behind compared to other writing apps. Dropbox Paper doesn't have anything like a storyboard that lets you shape your stories or characters and a file request to collaborate on. This can be found in other apps like WriteApp, Final Draft, or Scrivener. Paper doesn't have any features that lets you keep old versions of your content that you can refer back to if you want to make changes. Even though Dropbox Paper looks like Google Docs, it doesn't offer much support for exporting files. I was surprised to know that you can export your online document only as PDFs, docs, and markdown content on Dropbox Paper. If you want to export files to another format, then having them saved from Word or Google Docs will work a lot better in your favor. The best part about Paper is that it's a free product from Dropbox. As I'd mentioned earlier, Dropbox Paper is simple and easy to use. It lets you collaborate with other team members, it's compatible with all devices, and you can even create your own writing templates. On the downside, Dropbox Paper doesn't have a storyboard or brainstorming tool. It won't let you create and save different versions of content, it has limited export options, and doesn't block on-screen obstructions. Now, for the moment of truth, do I recommend Dropbox Paper? Dropbox Paper is worth it if it's just you or a team of content creators who often work together on a single project and constantly give each other feedback. If you want to use something other than Google Docs, Dropbox Paper is the way to go. Personally, I think freelance writers, marketing agencies, and even bloggers can get a lot out of Dropbox Paper. At the same time, I wouldn't suggest Dropbox Paper for authors, screenwriters, or novelists, simply because it lacks many features like not having a storyboard tool or being able to save old versions of a document. For professionals, they should invest their money on a paid app like Scrivener or Final Draft. Unlike Dropbox Paper, these apps let you save files in different formats and have a more flexible workspace to use. For note-taking, 
Evernote is a great app that most users might find useful. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.